In this video, we will provide an updated overview of the installation process of the 3D Coat AppLink add-on for Blender. As of 3D Coat build 2025.15, the newest versions of Blender are now fully supported in the AppLink. There was some significant changes made to the Blender add-on structure around 4.2, which forced add-on developers to make significant changes as well. And those changes have been made to restore the 3D Coat AppLink add-on. So let's get started. When you install a new version of Blender, 3D Coat will recognize that and it will ask you, as you see on the screen here, if you want 3D Coat to update the app link. If you click OK, then the next time you open your recently installed version of Blender, you will see the 3D Coat add-on now listed in the add-ons section of your preferences panel. Before I click OK, I first want to open Blender 5.0. I installed this version of Blender just a few moments ago. And if I go to the Edit menu under Preferences and Add-ons, I do not see 3D Coats AppLink anywhere here in this list. But we are about to fix that. I'll close the Preferences panel as well as Blender. And back in 3D Coat, I will go ahead and click on the OK button. This will establish our AppLink add-on. I don't have to do anything else in 3D Coat, but I'll leave it open for now. And I will reopen Blender 5.0. Let's now go back to the Preferences panel and look in the Add-ons section. Now I see the 3D Coat AppLink at the very top. Okay, let's do a quick recap. Each time you install a new version of Blender, you want to then go to 3D Coat, open it, and you will be given a prompt to update the app link. Once that is done, you can go back to Blender, look in the preferences panel and find the add-on there. And with that, we will conclude this updated version of the Blender app link installation. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.